Well, I started after I graduated college. I was a sociology major, and then I realized I wasn't qualified to do anything. So I decided to uh, go into business, but go back to school and get a master's degree in accounting, so I at least could understand a balance sheet. And then my first career was I was a stockbroker. I bought uh, Nathan's was public. I took it private in 1987. I felt it was a great brand name, and then we started buying other companies. We bought an investment bank, then we came into the city and bought uh, Douglas Elman in uh, 2003. And again, that was another company, like Nathan's, which had a great brand name. And I always believe, you know, if, if you have a great brand name and it has great management, like, what can I add? Not much. But if it's a great brand name with not such good management, I think there's lots of opportunities. You know, in business, what I found that it's pretty easy, generally, to find money. What's really difficult to find is people and the right people. And I think I've been good at finding and betting on the right people. The private banks at some of the big banks are, are pretty good, but sort of like IDB, like to me, I view the whole bank as sort of a private bank. So it's not like you're in a department of the big bank. If you're at IDB, it's like having your own big private bank. I mean, at the end of the day, I think what's most important is that I bank with IDB because it's personal. Mm -hmm.